Hello, I'm Jose Levigre from Spotfire, and I want to share with you this article that was recently published in the community website. This article explains how to tag specific markers without having to select them. Let me show you what I mean by that. So this is the typical sales and marketing dashboard that show a map with stores classified by performance. In this case, I can identify my low and high value stores by having segmented by my dogs, my stars, my question marks, and my cash cows. But what if I want to have a label on them? The way it's set up right now is that if I select a couple of markers, I can see the label show up. If I want to select some more, I can press the shift key, select a couple more, and then I have the labels on them. But what if I want to mark them for some reason, maybe I'm looking for outliers, and I want the markers to be always available. Like for example, in this case, I have change the label to include more information even though I can put my mouse over the marker and see a tooltip of the information but if I want to have them always available this is how even if I mark other rows I can still drill down and my labels are going to remain visible if I want to add more labels it's very easy by the use of, of tags let's say these are outliers so I just go ahead and label those outliers just like that so my tags, just as a reminder, is a way to label my rows of data. And by for each of these tag collections, I have two tag collections. And a tag collection is basically a column. So a column on my data, for example, if you look at the filter panel, I have this uh, BCG segmentation, which has my tags. And I created another tag collection, collection called label. And I have my outlier and the ones the other ones are just untagged. So what I did was to go to my properties of my scatter plot, go to labels, and make sure that I select all of them. And then if I choose my custom expression, then I just had a conditional if my column label is equal to the tag outlier, then it's going to display a concatenation of this information among with other columns. The way I have it uh, to, to add an additional line, I just have this backlash followed by the letter N, and that will create a carriage return in my label. So you can add more information if you will. I can also use emojis or characters. In this case, I have this warning sign that displays like this in the label. And that's it. If, um, if that condition is true, it's going to show that information. If not, it's going to just show a blank or nothing. It's just not going to show a label. Okay, let's do the same. Let's, let's apply the same method to my map. So what I'm going to do here is go to my properties and then jump to the layer that I want to edit. In this case, it's the marker layer. Go to settings, then look at the labels, options, and then I'm going to select all. And I'm going to filter those labels through this custom expression for only those labels that I want to see. So I go to my custom expression and I can simply go from the history and select. It's basically the same expression, but in my map, I am wrapping with the first um, um, function to only select one of them and use that label because the, the number of markers the map has. And that's it, now I can Zoom in, zoom out, it doesn't matter if I click or not, the functional is still the same and my labels are there. If I want to add another one, maybe this is another outlier, I can just select it and tag that record and now I have another label for that. Thank you, that's it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and keep the questions and the comments going and we'll keep in touch. Thank you.